Hey Makeup Artist, Orlando Santiago here. And today we are live in New York City um, and we are going to talk about how to apply color theory for under the eye makeup. One of the first things that we do as makeup artists when we're starting to apply makeup, we have to really look at everything that is involved prior to the makeup. So remember, makeup is very situational. And what I mean by situational is that you don't just need to apply everything everywhere. If I know that she has great skin, and this is my model Linnea, by the way, and um, if I know that Linnea has great skin and I really don't need to do complexion everywhere or use too much product, then maybe I'm just gonna focus on the areas that may need a little bit of coverage or neutralization or color correction. And then the rest will fall in place. So in this case, we're gonna use the color wheel as an example. The color wheel consists of six colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. The red is complementary, or which means the opposite of the color that's directly across from it. So the red would be complementary to green, the orange would be complementary to blue, and the yellow would be complementary to violet. But in this case, for the neutralization under the eyes, the green is going to counteract any kind of redness that you see. So what I have here is Le Maquillage. It's a palette that is a pure color cream and is wax-based. And because it's wax based, I can actually infuse it with a mixing medium that I have here so that it can take on the form of whatever I need to take it on to. So for example, I'm going to grab a little bit of this color, which is a green. Okay, and I'm gonna throw it onto my palette. Okay, and I'm gonna grab a little bit of white from another palette. And what I'm gonna do is just blend it. And while I'm blending it, I'm gonna add a little bit more white. And I didn't add a mixing medium yet. And what a mixing medium is, it will take on, basically this is a mixing medium. You add a drop into it and now it'll, this whole cream will become whatever medium this is. So if this is silicone, then now this will be silicone based. If you mix in another primer, oil, right? then that will become oil-based. So it pretty much takes on which, whichever medium you add into it. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a little bit of the Makeup Forever Aqua Seal, just to drop. So not only does it turn it more silicone-based, but it also waterproofs the cream, okay? So as I'm mixing and shearing it out, I just wanna test it on my hand to see what it does. So it's nice and sheer. So remember, any of the discoloration or blemishes that she may have underneath her eye are very sheer. So in being sheer, you also have to apply whatever neutralizer, which I just created, also very sheer. If not, it's gonna take over and now you're gonna see only the green or it's just gonna take over and look, something, look really crazy. So what I'm gonna do now is start by pressing. And as I press, you'll start to see that the redness will start to slowly disappear. Now this is important to do underneath a concealer because remember that green or a light green, so I added a green and a white simply because green is the um, opposing color to red. Although her skin is not red per se, but it's pink, which is red and white. So what I did was I added green and white to kind of counterbalance that. So without having a concealer, see, I was able to still start to cancel out all imperfections which makes your job for the concealer a lot easier. So I'm doing the other side, same thing, really sheer, and I'm just stippling. And again, stippling is basically just tapping lightly underneath the eye area. You're building up color and intensity to your liking. Especially if you go side to side, what you're doing is you're just dispersing the product and it doesn't look like you're doing anything. But if you just tap it, then you'll get like a nice build to the texture and to the level of tonality that you need in order to cancel out the redness. Okay, so I did under the eye area. If you can notice here, right at the, the ball of her nose, it's also a little bit red. So now think about it like this. The more you neutralize here, the more you'll start to see more red areas in her face. So it's a good guide as to where you need to start to cancel out. So again, just tapping, stippling lightly. And I'm not trying to take away or make everything look green. But what I am trying to do is take away those areas that are uh, just kind of are showing a lot of redness. Now, what happens if you apply too much green? 
All you have to do is take another dab or a, a dot and just place another dot right here, okay? No color added, just a dot of the solution. Go back in with your brush, saturate it, and go right over that area where it was too green. What that does, it, by adding more liquid, you're dispersing the product and it thins it out even further. So you don't really lose the intensity, but it makes it more realistic and more sheer and less green. Okay? And because it is a waterproof or basically what they call aqua seal, it's designed to set itself, no powder needed, which is great because then you don't have to add another layer from green to then powder to then go back and put concealer on. Kind of doesn't make any sense. So the fact that this dries by itself, which is fantastic because then you can go back and you can just now apply your concealer as is. See, as I'm tapping and tapping and tapping, all the redness is slowly disappearing. Now, I actually, if you think about it, I really don't need a lot of complexion. I don't need a lot of foundation. I don't need a lot of concealer because most of her skin is already neutralized and color corrected so that now I could just put a lightweight, either a BB cream, really lightweight moisturizer or tinted foundation. And that's pretty much it. That makes my job a lot easier now. Now I can go back with a complexion based product, cream, foundation, liquid, whatever I choose, okay? And uh, pretty much just work from there. So what I'm gonna do is use my really expensive uh, spatula from the corner deli and uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and use this cream as my concealer slash foundation. Again, she has great skin, she doesn't need much. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a drop right next to it. And if you notice, I'm sticking with the same brush or same size brush. It's an area that's real small. I don't need a brush. And actually for this type of work, I actually like to go in and be a little bit more detailed and more specific. Sponges are for larger areas and they also absorb a lot of your product. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tap. Okay. What I do with this brush is I'll, I'll place the product where I need the most coverage. Again, but in this area, she doesn't really need too much. So I have a small brush for a small amount of product, but I'm gonna go back and use a bigger brush to just polish it up, right? So now that she has that there, I'm gonna use this brush as a guide to really buff it out and diffuse it. And this will actually blend it all together. And what this does, this brush actually just is designed to soften the appearance of makeup. And if you notice the makeup underneath, that green, right, that neutralization color that I actually applied, close, is not really moving at all. And I am gonna set it with powder, but obviously now much is not needed. So, that's the last step. You wanna make sure you set it with a really good powder. Um, one of my favorite powders is actually Ket Cosmetics because it is a powder that is was designed for airbrush. So it actually has a really lightweight finish. And I'm just going to really press it into those areas that are high shine, such as forehead, T-zone, and perhaps over the nose, underneath, just to set the concealer. But I'm gonna leave areas such as the cheekbone and other areas alone because I want that natural shine to come through. So it's just primarily to set my makeup. And there you have it. Good. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to our color theory for under the eye neutralization area. And thank you Linnea for uh, being an amazing model. Uh, don't forget to tune into more tutorials uh, regarding color theory, our full looks, and our live. You can only find this here at my app. So thank you guys for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you guys later. Take care.